What's going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to Somerset Farms here in Farming Simulator 19. Today, we are jumping in this guy right here because the Fiat is being sold. Yep, you heard it correctly. Um, I actually have liked this vehicle. We haven't used it crazy amount. We only used it, what, four and a half hours total of work time? Um, it's kind of the tractor that I, well, I don't use for much. Because I use the case or the the Hurleyman for everything. Well, today we're going to change that a little bit. Oh yeah, we're getting rid of that as well. <laughs> We've already got one of these on another map. Why have it here too? So we're gonna put this right there. We also got the front uh, front lifter. We don't need the front lifter for anything. We're gonna take this and get all of this put in there as well, because it is all being sold too. But what are we buying? Well. The Modern Classics DLC has been released. I know the video we did yesterday, um, but I didn't do it because guess what? Modern Classics DLC released like uh, seven hours later than mods normally release. I'd already recorded that video. So yeah, I it wasn't even out by the time I recorded the previous video in here, but today it's here and we are ready. I'm excited for it, to be honest with you, I'm very excited. But we've got to get rid of a few things because there's just stuff we don't need. If we're going to be buying new equipment, well, we got to sell old equipment. So, Rip Fit, Rip Massey. Let's buy some new stuff. How's about that? Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and repair while we're at it. And we'll get a little extra cash for it. 39 grand. It's not crazy, but hey, it's more than zero. So, I will take that. And then this stuff just did not get used at all. Uh, front lifter probably got used more than the Massey did. Yep, sure did. Let's see, repair it. We got nine extra dollars. Yeah, <laughs> double that, but still. So we've made a little bit of profit. Let's, that's not it. Let's, well, buy some stuff. How's about that? So what we're going to do is we're going to buy two things today. Both are JCB. We're going to be adding JCB to this because, well, I would add the case Maxim, but we would have to get rid of the Hurleyman. And I'm cool with that. But I love the Hurleyman. I don't want to get rid of the Hurleyman just yet. But if we do, this is what's going to be, re be replacing it. So if you want me to get rid of the Hurleyman, let me know. We'll run two Case IHs on here on the farm. But this, this is what we're going to be going with. We're going with Hlalabog. We're going with wide tires and we're going to speed things up a little bit. It's going to cost some cash, but I think this is going to be good overall. Now, we are taking quite a bit of a horsepower break than we did from our uh, the other tractor. We had like 180, 190 horsepower in there. We had a lot of power. So we're losing some. Not a lot, but we're losing some. Let's go ahead and buy that. And then we want to get a telehandler. Yeah. We're going to be buying the new telehandler that came with the DLC. This bad boy right here. This, again, uh, Trelleborg and Nokia. You know what? Let's go with Nokian tires. Forget Trailborgs. We have Trailborgs on everything. Nokian, baby. Yeah, yeah. So we got the Nokians. Now we need a bucket for it. Let's go into here. Let's go to Telehandlers. And I think what I'm going to do... Let's see. Ooh, we got the Brussel und, Brussel und Laid shovel. Let's see. We can go through here. We got some neat colors. Nothing I'm crazy about, to be honest with you. We do get a larger version of reinforcement. Telehandler, yeah. Not bad. That's cheap too. That that might be a good one. See, forty-two forty is the um, hold there, so it holds quite a bit. I don't really know what we need this for. I <laughs> can be honest with you guys. Um, I don't know what we need this for. Okay, so this holds like half that. This is what I was gonna buy. Yeah, we're not gonna buy that. We're gonna buy the other one. Let's go back to the Brussel und Laid. There we go. What about this guy right here? I feel like this one... I don't know, somebody looks a little better than this. Is it just me? You know what? Let's go with this. I, I don't I don't want to overboard it a little bit. Um, the gray is, is interesting, but I, I like it. Reinforcements, yes. Telehandler, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's a perfect size. May I actually be just a little bit big, but it is good. And one thing I like about the buckets is you can move them. Let's put that on there. Let's see. We go all the way down with it. Yeah, it's a little bit much, but this is what it is. 
Now, what do you guys think about this? This ain't too bad at all. Yeah! This is good, baby. This is good. All right, cool. Um, I don't think there's anything else we need, so... Let's, uh... Let's just go. Oh, I forgot. This has a really good turning radius. Ooh, that was rough. Um... Should we... Take this back to the farm and watch it go bing bong bing bong right against everything. Hmm. DJ thinks so. Now we've got a new weight uh, holder thing for tow bar stuff. Let's let's see if we can get that. So we've got some cool stuff. Yeah, this stuff we're through here. Let's see. Something cheap. Don't need anything too crazy. That'll work for perfectly fine for us. Let's get that. And let's hook up. Let's see here. Let's hook up the very front of the fast track. Just like so. There we go. And then what we want to do is we want to do this. Attach. Yeah. I want to attach it, but not yet. Um, I want to drop. There we go. And then we'll bring this over. <laughs> I'm sure you guys are like, DJ, you're doing that thing again. A little bit boring. Shut up. Let me do my thing. I like this series. I'm having fun. Let me do little farming. Let me let me do this just 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 as once. Just as once. All right. The thing is, I don't remember what hooks up to what. I think it's this way around. Yeah. There we go. Come on, come on. Don't hit the wall. Good, 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 good. Um, one of the big reasons I'm doing this is because <laughs> a, it's hilarious, uh, and b, that we've already crashed. The telehandler only goes like nine miles an hour. So if I could just pull it and be like, come on, then I think we'll be good. Uh, we're going to hit traffic 100%. Oh, come on. That telehandler is heavy, boy. That thing is heavy. It is pulling me all over the place. Ooh, I don't... Can, can, it's going to hit it. Yep, yeah, sure did. Bumped it. Uh, it's it's working, but that... Oh, it's going to pull. Yep, yeah, oh, it's pulling. <laughs> pull it again. No, no. <laughs> Still going faster than we would have those. I'll take that. I, I don't want to... Oh, come on. Come on, DJ. Pull, 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 pull. This telehandler is being a little butt munch. Come on. Let's go. You ever see a kid in the mall with his mom and he's got a... like a, a <laughs> He's got a little... Uh, like a leash. His mom's trying to pull the kids. Like, come on. <laughs> feel like that's what I'm doing right now. It's just trying to pull this thing around. <laughs> it's going to pull me out of the way. Come on. Into the... Oh, that's one way to do it. Um, Can we have time? This is going really good. Yep. This is phenomenal. Let's go ahead and return these bad boys. And uh, let's F9 this back on his wheels. Boop. Good doggy. Nice. Nice. Oh, look at dude's hand. <laughs> He's about to break his hand off, bro. That's not good at all. Um, so we're good. We are here. We are ready. And for some reason, the time set to zero? Nah, that, that needs to be set to times one. There we go. That's much better. I feel like I'm supposed to clean these bad boys up, but they're not doing anything. So I feel like there's nothing for me to do. So um, we're just going to get this thing parked up. Good? Ready? Um, How's the reach on this? That's pretty, pretty rough, Reese. <laughs> Reach, rather. Ah, nothing matter. Ain't a problem. It's good. We've got something with a bucket. I'm happy about that. Everything is nice. Very, very nice. So what we've got to do now is, I said in the last video we would be doing this, we've got to sell. Get, get, let me out of here. We've got to sell through here. We have soybeans that are just sitting, waiting to be sold. And... We're getting a pretty decent price, $3,500, bucks, 35 95 to be exact, but the price could be better. We're looking at $37.93, so here's what I'm going to do. We'll jump in here. We are going to take a look at soybeans. We're going to fast forward time a little bit. I need to double check and make sure my time scale is not too crazy. Uh, if you are in and you have your time scale set too much, we're going to set it to 500 and... Uh, I'll just hit go. Sit here, watch it, wait on the soybeans to get to about ooh, 3608. It's getting better and better. 
Anything over 37 is good. All right, here we go. This is the best price that we're going to be getting. Um, I actually messed up a little bit and <laughs> went a little bit too far and then tried to come back and it ended up fast forwarding a whole day. Thanks. That was great. Yeah. So 3740 bucks here at the Edge Grain Vault. This is as good as it's going to get. It will not get any better than this. Come through. Soybeans. Drip, drop, drop them out of the back right there. Looking good, looking good. We're going to have to make two trips with this because we do have, I think, like 1,500 more. There's up 7,900 more. Man, same thing. And we're actually making some pretty decent money with this as well. Oh, yeah, totally forgot. Um, when I left, I had to redo literally everything that we just did. So we need to add about 12 grand in, I think. I'll go back, double check, and uh, look and see what the number was. And <laughs> look and see what the number was at the beginning of this clip and we'll uh do all that again look at that see that's this all right so this this is actually pretty cool so we beans there we go all right and we'll go ahead and pop in that uh 12 hundo i think it was a little bit more than that but yeah we'll call that a uh oops for forgetting but this is nice hey i like i like having that kind of like that that's cool that's cool and we'll drop this in again i'm not getting tons and tons of money for it but hey we've got some and I'm happy about that. We've also got soybeans in the ground right now. We're going to be <laughs> fertilizing. Today's going to be my first time fertilizing with the um, PC mod out that, yeah. Oh, this is not going to be fun at all. I'm <laughs> thinking about this in my head right now. Good job, DJ. Going to lose. Yep, pretty much. Totally going to lose, aren't we? Yes, we are. All right, so... We're into the night, everything is super mega dark, and there's really not a whole lot that we could do now. Put that right there. We're gonna take this bad boy, get it parked up, and uh, we're gonna go and sleep and get ready for tomorrow, because tomorrow, well, we're gonna be fertilizing tomorrow. Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. Um, the cows have ate half of the food a day. Uh, <laughs> Is that normal? I feel like that's not quite normal. Um, the cleanliness is great, but they're going to need some food. Uh, yeah, a lot of food, actually. They're, they, <laughs> they need about 20,000 liters of food. That's a bunch. That is a whole bunch. What I might do, I might let that food go down a little bit because they've got hay and silage in there right now. Um, I may let the food go down a little bit, but water and straw definitely do not need to go down. Uh, straw, we've got a bunch of manure right now. Not sure if I'm happy about that or not. So I'm going to let the straw go down as well. And we're just going to go with a manure. But. Or, sorry. You, you know what I'm talking about. But this bad boy right here. Oh, now this is going to be fun. Uh, we need to fill up with fertilizer. There we go. Fertilizer's good. Um, we've got fields that are ready for fertilizer. Here's the funny part. So with this, you know, well, we've got all of this. We need to have care wheels on. The scary part is we have the mod on where these wheels can get... Well, they could dig into the ground pretty effectively. Yep, uh, kind of tough. It's not impossible, just a little bit tough. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and lock up our diffs so that we've got as much control as possible today. And then we're going to boom up and turn some lights. Uh, I don't think we need to turn the lights on, but we do need to turn the fertilizer on. Oh, so used to uh, so used to that 50 meter fertilizer now. Seeing anything that's smaller is just kind of messing with me and everything else has a smaller fertilizer throw. Ooh, I am not able to take turns like I used to could, that's for sure. I kind of expected the wheels to dig in a lot more, but no, not any problems. Turning is, oh, is a, it's a trip. That is for sure. Turning is a trip, especially at full speed. But I tell you what, especially with a locked diff, this isn't bad. This isn't bad at all. Wheels are all locked up. Let's let's turn off all. Oh, yeah, now. Now we're getting somewhere. Look at that. That is great. Those rear wheels are just going. And the poor front wheels. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> um, okay, so now if we just... Oh, I am in it. Look at that. Yep. Yep. We're... 
We're stuck a Reno right there, so that's what happens when you turn off the locking diff. I wonder if, I, if it'll help just if I turn on the front locking diff, if it'll help pull us out. Nope, we're just digging ourselves in more. What if I turn on the rear locking diff? Oh, now both rear wheels are in. Great! Um, what if I turn on the center locking diff so we have four wheel drive? That's the only way to do that. So, regardless, as long as the front and rear. <laughs> yeah! All right, so center locking diff has to be on or else nothing is good. Regardless if we have the rear lock on or the front lock on, the center locking diff to have uh, all wheel drive definitely has to be on. But I will say. Ooh, what happens if we turn it off halfway through a skid? <laughs> that does. Dig both. All right. I'm having too much fun with this. Let's move forward. I take it back. This is way more fun than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Look at this. We're taking, like, drift turns at the end of each one. <laughs> well, this is going to be a great time, man. This is going to be fun. Uh, I tried to speed for time forward a little bit to see if this rain would go away. Turns out rain's not going anywhere. So yeah, oh, we're on the we're on the road. Need to have all-wheel drive, but not four-wheel drive. So if you guys don't know, there was basically all-wheel drive uh, allows limited slip from all the wheels independently. However, if you are on, we, <laughs> um, if you've got four-wheel drive on, that means that all wheels turn all at the same time. They all get the same diff. Whether you've got a, a rear locking diff, a front locking diff. It, any type of diff that's why I'm with these like so now we've literally got only rear wheel drive and it's uh the limited slip is on so you can see if i keep my speed up we're good but the minute i stop we dig in oh we still got the locking diffs on there we go there it is so lock in the front doesn't matter one bit as long as we have all wheel drive kick that front lock diff in there you go not too bad not too bad definitely working in the fields uh taking turns is a bit of a pain with all wheels locked this isn't too bad otherwise so let's rock and roll uh now i'm gonna finish these up we've got two more fields to go after this i think only two may have three but we'll have to double check that um otherwise we're pretty much done we just have to fertilize a few fields and then we're good now we've got 190 grand right now i'm looking at that thinking okay we could a buy more cows which i'm not gonna do um or we could make another farm what do you guys think about that it's definitely something i've thought about uh, i had mentioned it in a previous episode said you know we're, we're doing really well money's money's doing great no, I haven't had no issues at all. We have no payments to make. We have all the money that we have is our own. We don't owe anyone any cash. What if we bought another farm? What if we bought the sheep farm? What if we bought the pig farm? We could buy the pig farm. Uh, to buy the pig farm, we would have to buy pig food because I'm not going to make pig food. Um, and since we're going to be doing pigs on uh, Sandy Bay, I figured, well, why don't we do sheep? We could do sheep. Then it would be easy. Well, I'm not sure easy is the word, word to use, but could do them, yes. Well, how's the sheep farm on here? This is the sheep farm right here. It's $119,000. We have $190,000. We own it. Ta-da. It's, it is owned. <laughs> what is this? What does that go with? Oh, it goes with everything. We now own a sheep farm with a field that I'm assuming needs everything. What is in there? Planted? Wheat? No. Corn? Is that corn? That is corn. I don't think I have a corn header, so we're going to have to figure that out. Doesn't need anything. Needs fertilizing. Well, guess what? We could do that. Rolling up to the new digs now. Oh, yeah. And so I've got the uh, rear, uh, what was it? rear wheel drive only, something like that. Look at this bad boy up. So we got a sheep farm. We are now, oh crap. We are now sheep farm owners. But unfortunately we don't have a, 
a tractor or sheep for that matter. Uh, it is raining, which is going to mean that getting this up is going to be an absolute nightmare. Um, and it also needs to be mowed as well. That's not good. Or uh, not mowed, but it needs all the goodies. One thing I'm going to do while we're at it, we're going to... Let me out of here. We're going to fertilize this field as well because it does need fertilizing. And we'll get fertilizer on that. Hopefully it'll let us. I haven't even thought about that. Usually grass in the... Uh, Oh, we should probably lock everything, too. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We've got fertilizer going in. We are good to go, naturally. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, ooh, sliding a little bit. Well, we're good. Hey, so what we'll do is the uh, day one, uh, or whenever, whenever this rain lets up, should be sometime tomorrow in game. What we'll do is we'll come through here, and uh, we'll go ahead and mow all this up. We'll pick it up. And we'll do something with it. We may have to put another silo up here just because there's no way we're going to be able to take grass from down at our main farm bring it up here. That's that's just not going to happen. So likely what I'll do is I'll put some type of multi-fruit silo or something like that right there. We're not going to worry about feeding the sheep. Let's see. Let's go into sheep see what they need. Uh, large sheep pasture. I think that's the one. So they just need water and uh, grass, hay, or hay pellets. We will give them grass, and they will be happy, and uh, and they will give us wool, and I will also be happy about that. I don't know anything about sheep. What's that? This guy right here. This, this is big. This is very big. Very nice. Might have to relocate some of our fieldage up here. How's the field size up, up north? Not shabby. This is a great size field. Look at 43, 40, 30. couple of these fields up here. Very nice. Hey, might not be a bad idea to move uh, move part of our operation up there. Even though I like all this, I'm definitely cool getting rid of 23, 24, 25, even field 8. I'm cool getting rid of those after this next harvest just to buy these. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Cool. All right. Yeah, you can definitely tell that the <laughs> that this has been planted by the, the um, what do you call it? Yep. Definitely can tell it's been done by the computer. And I've got to figure out the... Ooh, nice drift there, DJ. Thanks, DJ. We've got to figure out the best way to fertilize this field. I have no idea. I've done one contract up here before. And you can definitely tell I've done the contract because... The, <laughs> and it was in the first year, too. You can tell because all the field around the... Uh, the area around this field is still fertilized. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. This is normal, and it happens with... Uh, Fields like this, we'll go through and we'll plow the edges around the outside. We'll get some uh, get some crop in here next time around. But good thing is, we got corn. We haven't had corn before, well, at least not in a while. So not too shabby, not too shabby at all. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I just looked to see how much time we've got on the recording, and I'm like, you know what? We only get to do this uh, do this series two times a week. So you know what? I'm gonna go a little bit faster. So we're going to do a little bit of a longer video. I hope you guys are cool with that. Probably going to push 30 minutes plus on this one. Very exciting. So what do we need to do first? Well, I need to make some TMR. Because, well, we don't have much. So that's the reasoning why there. So I'm going to take full advantage of the new uh, JCB Fast Track that we've got right here. But we're going to make some TMR. So let's pull through here. I'm going to show you guys what I use. You can use whatever you like. But this is the TMR setup that I use. So... I go through and I use 40% hay, 40% silage, 20% uh, straw. Now, the thing is here, I've got a whole lot more silage than I do hay. So I'm going to be using a little bit more than that. I'm going to be doing 60% straw, or 60% silage, 20%, uh, 20%. So that's, that's where we're going to be there. So let's just sit here, sit on this. Let it go all the way up to 60-ish, almost 60%. Let's go, hey, we're going to take this up no higher than 80%. 80% right on the dot. And then we're just going to fill it in with straw. There we go. 18,000 liters there. That's pretty good. I think we're going to have to make two of these for the cows just because, well, that's is what it is. Also, I figured out the cows are eating so much because of the uh, time being set at... Um, or not time, rather, but everything being set at a certain amount. Uh, the cows really 
Should be said. We really should be doing six day seasons, but you know what? I don't care. I'm doing, uh, boy, we're dead cows right now, aren't we? Yeah. Um, we're doing six, uh, or six day seasons over on, uh, our other map. So Sandy Bay, there you go. So I'm not going to worry too much about it here. Let's take a look, double check, make sure everything's looking nice and pretty for them. Uh, TMR is going up. That makes me happy. I know I'd mentioned that I was going to bring it down a little bit. Actually, we'll probably, uh, Maybe only give them one load. Uh, you know what? We'll make a, we'll give them two just to make sure make sure they've got enough food and, and uh, everything. And then we're going to have to give them some water as well because they're running super low on water. Uh, we're definitely going to have to give them two loads of water. Well, guess who's stuck? <laughs> I came through here thinking, you know what? I'm, I'm going to try to get stuck just to see if I can actually get stuck. Now, the less your wheels slip, the more you come out of that. So, trying to not gun it to get out. And maybe, just maybe, we'll be good. All right, now I'm going to gun it. See if the front wheels will start moving. There we go. Yeah, I got stuck, yo. I really did. I got stuck right in that. That's kind of cool. I like that. I mean, this is a lot of... that We're pulling a lot, don't get me wrong, but still, that was... That was kind of cool. Uh, all right, yeah, I dig that, I dig that. All right, so here's what we're gonna do next. Cause I've looked around and guess what? Grass, the grass is, well, it's in the next growth stage, but uh, see, we're actually in late summer. You know what? We could probably wait till early, early autumn, uh, maybe mid autumn for this grass to grow. I know there's a growth issue. I've looked it up. Um, it's not just me. It's, it's just a problem with grass growth in general. Um, just not sure what in the world's actually going on, but we've got one more growth stage out of this. Supposed to be able to get, let me out of here. Hey, we're out. So we've got one more growth stage with all this grass, but there's no way it's going to grow once more. Um, you see the, the grass around the outsides, a little higher growth stage. So I'm going to leave it for one more time, just to see if we can get this to grow anymore. Is that open? Let's close that. Um, but yeah, it is it is that. Oh, F11. Boop, boop, boop. Because water's free on this map. So why not just do that? Save us a little bit of time. Cool. Let's grab our mowers. Let's grab, uh, let's see, loading wagon, windrows. Ooh, we cannot take all that at one time. Well, we're going to have fun nonetheless then. This is what we've got right here. I just got the front mower and then our uh, windrow. We're going to go and drop that. Unfold this bad boy. Drop him down, turn him on, because what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to mow more of this than needs mowing, actually. I'm going to mow, like, all of this around here. The reason being is because I've got to place down a silo right here, right? Yeah, right. So, because i got to place down a silo, all this grass is going to be gone. Why not take advantage of it, get, like, you know, 10,000 10, liters or... 10, five liters, whatever this is going to be, um, and and get a little bit of extra while we're at it so that we've got a little bit extra, right? The thing is, this is also dry grass. Could make hay with this. We're not going to. Um, I refuse to make hay over here. Um, we just don't need it. We don't need it this year, right now. Right now. <laughs> we're good. We're good with it. So we're just going to make normal stuff, normal grass, this is going to be used for the uh, sheep completely. So again, no reason to make hay. Well, they're all going to use grass anyway. There's that. Beep. Scoop. And then bring it in here. And let it rock and roll. Doing just fine. I'm not going to go into the pen area. I'm going to let them have that. But I am going to take all these goodies through here. Let's see. Straight through about right there. That looks good. And then I got to get all this. You ever <laughs> vacuum? I always equate mowing to, to vacuuming. Um, you always vacuum, right? And you've got to <laughs> go through, and then you get to a point, and you got the vacuum down, and you just go forwards, and then back. And forwards, <laughs> and then back, right? I can't be the only one. Yeah, maybe, maybe not. But this area right here seems to be like you're in your bed, your bedroom or something, or your closet, where you're backed into a corner. And this is the only way to make it work. <laughs> uh, 
Either way, uh, love vacuuming, love mowing. That doesn't make any sense, but join the club. If you like not cleaning, no, you can get out of here with that. That's negative, but mowing and, and vacuuming. I'll do it all day. One step down, two to go. Now we've got to windrow all this together. Now this isn't going to take very long. However, coming through, mowing, yep, yeah, that took a hot minute. That actually took a lot longer than I was expecting it to take. So now we come through here with a little bit of combining action. One thing I am a little concerned about is the, uh, the tractor. I'm worried that this isn't going to have a good enough turning, uh, turning cycle here. I'm trying to get that last little bit right there. Just a little bit, a bit. Come into the center. There we go. All right, I'll take that. And then just a little bit here on the outside. And I think we're going to be done with this. Oh, oh, definitely going to have to keep coming around like that. Yeah, that's going to be fun. And, of course, we got to bring this up through here. This is going to be the real test right here because I mowed the entire area. Are we going to be able to get this done? Or is this going to be extremely difficult? Uh... Yeah, the first one. Nope, B. Second, crap. Nope, second. Ah, oh, man, I'm already missing stuff. This is why I probably won't ever do this uh, field again. Ever, ever, ever. Or I'll cheat. I'm try trying real hard not to cheat, guys. You'd <laughs> be like, DJ, you're so brave. I know, man, thank you. I've tried really hard not to cheat. I'm even not fast farming with a windrow, which I always do. No, I'm not sick. Everything is Gucci. Um, but, uh, yeah, just, you know, just a little bit of fun. They're not, not realistic, but this is the way I want to farm right now. That's the thing. I never set out to be an unrealistic farmer. But I do set out to do things the way that I want to do them. And sometimes that includes unrealistic farming. Sometimes that includes... Um, like right now, which is not realistic by any stretch of the imagination, but it's, it looks like I'm sick, it's true. I get it. No, I totally get it. We'll come to here, we'll get to the end of this row, turn it off, spin it around, watch it go bump into literally everything, turn it back on, see if we can hit this entire area, and we'll get some scragglers, that's alright, we'll pick that up with the loading wagon. And, uh, and then this last little bit right here, Pull something in from the outside. Done. Ta-da! All's good. All's well that is good. I used the JCB to bring over the loading wagon. I wasn't quite sure if it could handle it or not. <laughs> and that's exactly why I did it. Because I didn't know if it could handle it. Now, getting in and out of here and all this good stuff, I need something that's going to turn well. And unfortunately, that JCB is probably one of the fourth or fifth, fifth worst turning tractors and farming simulator. So there's no way. Watch, I may even. <laughs> I'm gonna hit the case too hard. Oh, I barely missed it. You got lucky, punk. You got lucky. Uh, this should hit there. Perfect. Hey, nice. Good. Back it up just a little bit more. There we go. Got it. Drop it down. Turn it on. I remember this will hold like, what is it? 50. 50,000 liters of grass? Something like that. 52,000 liters. So this will hold quite a bit. Um, it's going to be almost comical watching this tractor try and pull 50,000 liters of anything. Um, but if you're like me, you're, you're looking forward to that because that's going to be hilarious. I'm going to come through. I'm going to pick up the grass. If there's any problems or anything funny happens, I'll jump back in. Otherwise, you will see me when I'm done with this job. Well, I don't know how much grass is bad, but I don't think we did bad at all. I'm pretty sure we did very, very good. 20,000 liters. Yeah, not bad. Things looking pretty good. All right, let's get this closed up. Let's jump in here. Let's back up and let's get ready to fill up because we're going to be filling up these bad boys right now. Oh, yeah. Back this up. It says start on overloading grass. Well, I'm not going to start doing that until we've got some uh, animals. Well, let's get some animals. These guys right here. Now, I don't think. Let's see. We'll find out. I'll see. Some grow extremely fast. They're all female. So, you see, the uh, Marinero is a medium breed used for wool production, which is good. That's what we're getting them for. It grows slowly, not very productive, but uh, does not require a lot of feed as an adult. 
Yep, that's not very good. Large breed that grows moderately fast, has modest wool production, and requires a medium amount of food. Relatively uh, prolific for a good 20 to 20. Okay, so that's going to be for selling. Large breed sheep that grows extremely fast, produces a modest amount of wool. Uh -uh. Um, here we go. Medium-sized breed, grows fast, produces no wool. Crap. <laughs> so... Let's see, all of these produce a breed that is used for wool production. It grows slowly, is not very prolific, but does not. it's a media breed used for wool production. Perfect, that's what. That's all we want right there, isn't it? I think that's all we want. Let's get 25 to start with. I don't know how much food they're going to take, so we're just going to go with 25. Uh, fees, 2,500 bucks. Yep, that's not happening. And, uh... And then we're going to dump, and we'll see how much food they take. Wow, they don't take any food. Um, we can multiply that number by a little bit. Uh, 50 sheep. What do we have? The Mar Marinos? This guy right here, I think. Yeah. Let's pop this up to 50 sheep, then. There's, there's that. Another 2,500 bucks down the drain. Not even close. Let's dump this food out. See what we could get here. So we're gonna... <laughs> they don't take any food whatsoever. Alright. I'm gonna do it. A hundo. One hundred of these bad boys right here. We're gonna get a hundred uh, sheep. Uh, they're gonna take a lot of food, but they only take grass, right? So we need to make sure we've got plenty of it. Not very prolific, so they're not gonna be making... Uh, not gonna be making much. There we go, dump that. Good. And then whatever's left from this, which is 7,000 liters, we'll build a silo. We'll put the grass in it. We'll take everything back down to our main farm. And we will be good. And as far as today is concerned, that is going to be it. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video. Get subscribed to the channel. Join the GoHand fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss a daily farming simulator video here on the channel. I hope you've enjoyed the longer video. Let me know if you did. If you didn't, don't worry. I'm not going to do anything crazy during the week, but weekends sometimes can be a little fun. But with all that being said, hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Peace.